Welcome everyone, today we're reopening the Fear Collective to explore the scares and subtext of 2020's The Vigil. Written and directed by Keith Thomas, The Vigil is a story about a man struggling with grief caused by the loss of his younger brother, which forced him to question his faith. The film's premise is that he has to stay overnight to watch over a dead body as part of a Jewish tradition, which he does despite being unaffiliated with the church, so as to make money he desperately needs for rent. I really love horror movies that take place in just one night for the sense of containment and intimacy, and also the stakes. It reminds me of House on Haunted Hill, where the goal is to simply survive the night. In the vigil, our protagonist just has to wait five hours until the body is picked up. A simple enough task, but this wouldn't be a horror movie unless things got weird. And they do. The film shoots its shot at being all-out horror a handful of times to varying success, and the sound design is really the standout here with droning, building chords that will definitely unnerve you. The film's scariest sequence comes by way of a telephone call with an uncanny outcome that is just subtle enough to um, really get under your skin. Unfortunately, despite all this, I found myself kind of disengaging by the third act, at least in part because I felt the payoff of the mounting tension didn't quite meet up with my expectations. Um, I'd be curious, though, to re-watch this film to see if I can appreciate the film, uh, what the film does deliver without comparing it to where I wanted it to go, if that makes any sense. I did have a real problem with some of the character decisions in the film that kind of deflated the tension for me, um, because in a movie with really only one main character, it's sort of necessary that you be on board with him. Um, especially when his trauma serves as the emotional anchor of the film. I kind of just stop connecting with him when he's having a breakdown and yet he's not producing any tears. Um, I like the concept here. I think the overall theme of facing your demons is one that really resonates with me on a very deep level. It's certainly on trend with other horror movies that also play on the theme of grief and working through past trauma. I think because it's such a relatable idea. Everyone has something that we're working through, and to have that struggle represented in paranormal terms really works for potent horror. It's a shame that I didn't feel the writer could really connect that with the scare sequences in a way that didn't feel so cut and paste, like theme, scare, theme, scare. But I'm not even positive that I'm really giving this film a fair shake because it's in many ways feels a lot like films like Relic and The Dark and the Wicked, both which I really enjoy, but also kind of do that same thing. So maybe I was just too high watching this film? Entirely possible. I will say there's enough meat on the bones here to warrant a watch, so I do recommend that you check out this film, especially if you're a fan of moody horror films that take their time to let the discomfort of a situation really simmer. I did find the film to lag a bit, so I'm probably not going to add it to my collection. Um, I'm going to rate it a 5 out of 10. It was kind of just okay for me, but I do encourage you to watch the film because, I don't know, maybe you'll get more out of it than I did. In any case, I appreciate you watching the video. This is a new channel where I watch and review horror movies, both new and old. If you have any films that you'd like me to check out, let me know in the comments. But for now, the collective is now closed.